Thank you, Madam Chair. First of all, I want to thank all of the speakers who spoke before me, especially Mr. Gowan, for telling the truth and establishing the facts. Indeed, uh, my country, my democratic country, was recently attacked by its authoritarian neighbor. The attack was completely unprovoked, unjustified. Many civilians were killed, settlements were damaged, civilian infrastructure was, was damaged. Mr. Gowan presented it all. But why did this happen, dear friends? It happened because the aggressor wasn't condemned before. I remember during the last session here in this hemicycle, I was talking about another Azeri incursion to sovereign Armenian territory, which happened in 2021. And I was talking about the prisoners of war, Armenian prisoners of war, which are still kept in Azerbaijan. They were kept in Azerbaijan back then. They are still kept there. And now, a couple of months later, we have new aggression, new occupation, new prisoners of war, some of which were killed. And there is a footage of this video of them being summarily executed by Azerbaijanis immediately after being captured. And this happens because they were not condemned before. Dear colleagues, Mr. Seidov, the chair of the Azerbaijani delegation, is going to speak after me. And most probably, he is going to resort to the good old Azerbaijani tradition of denial, saying that Azerbaijani aggression simply did not happen, but the Azerbaijanis, but sorry, but the Armenians deserved it. This is what he's going to do. He's going to tell Mr. Gavan, Madame Aberg, and the other speakers that they are wrong that there, was, there is no incursion into Armenian territory. Why? Because it's his job. Mr. Seidov's job is to justify the actions, the illegal crimes of his authoritarian government here. Speaking about the necessity of talking about peace in, in, in this organization, I want to inform you that the president of PACE, Mr. Cox, invited me and Mr. Seidov to, to have a meeting in Paris when we had to have a monitoring committee meeting. It had, this meeting had to uh, be held on September 15th. Why it didn't happen? Simply because two days before this meeting, my country was attacked by Azerbaijan and I didn't go to Paris. Dear friends, it's possible to talk about peace when your colleague wants to talk about peace. It's impossible to talk about peace while shooting at you, while occupying your territory. It's impossible. I understand that many of our friends have been reluctant to take sides when it comes to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. It's complicated, I understand. This is different. We have a case of an authoritarian country attacking its de democratic neighbor and occupying its territory. This must be condemned and the Azerbaijani troops have to withdraw from Armenian territory immediately and the Armenian prisoners of war should be released. Thank you.